here YouTube today I want to talk about Holatune Holatune.com Holatune is a music aggregator that takes your music to Spotify and the rest of the platforms it also is going to have sync licensing in August also publishing administration in August also they're going to have uh, the option to split royalties between your artists in August they don't have it now so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this link in the description so you can check it out. I'm gonna go on plans and pricing so I can show you the plans. I'm on the platinum plan, releasing two days, unlimited releases, content ID, no fee, so you keep everything for yourself. You have a multiple artists and label profiles on every profile without a fee, it's free. Uh you can have the free plan and release in six days and keep the 75 royalties even here that says two days I'm gonna show you when we go to distribute my song it, uh, it lets you like put the today's date it doesn't like other distributors says say two days and then you can choose two days later by this side you can choose the same date as uh, today which is June 28th the time I'm making the video I, I, I'm gonna leave the frequently asked questions FAQ in the description so you can check all about uh, Holotune I'm not gonna go into all these questions you can read it yourself but what I'm gonna do is when you, you, you click dashboard here up here as you see then it takes you to this page right here and you either click albums you go on albums and uh, I need to sign in so it says that I have created a release edited by myself I created a release I click album because when you click click tracks it just cre creates a track so it's better to create an album because uh, you have more tabs on the album you have like all these tabs here when you create a track you just need like let's say you create a track right and then you go on the albums it shows you can choose instead of uploading your audio you can choose the track you already uploaded so I made my label on uh, Holotune Carly's music group you click labels here then when you go to permissions to have content ID you have to click like so you another labels that they have now like Holotune label and go to permissions you have to click request permission and then email them their email is support at holotune.com and then on the email they ask you for they ask you for Spotify links they ask you for if you if you made any money with uh, distribution, I sent I sent them a screenshot for from my repost network earnings, and I told them already I already use YouTube Content ID. So from my understanding, if you want Content ID on Holotune, you need to show them other sources of Content ID that you made money with. So if you are a new artist, don't have music on Spotify, don't have uh, don't have any, you didn't make any money. I don't think you can uh, have content ID on Holatune or you just use Holatune without content ID then when you start making money three four months later you tell them okay I want, I'm, I'm making money with Holatune I have my Spotify link can you uh, you activate content ID but still then I don't know if they're gonna let you have content ID uh, the reason they let me have content ID on my label here, Carly's Music Group, is because I show them a screenshot from other distributors, other earnings. So I don't know if this is a a no go for you. Uh, we have to find out, you know, maybe Holotune can inform you, maybe if you ask them the, the, the thing I said now, like if you ask them, do I really need to have like earnings from another distributor, can I distribute with you guys and then after five months you let me have content ID, so you have to ask these things. 
So I went to the first step, which is release. I put my cover, put my artist. You can go to artist here, which is uh, and create artist. I don't know why I have two names, my legal name. So yeah, I put my artist. I put my label. Put the genre. You have to put your literal name as a composer. You have to put a composer. It's uh, it's uh, necessary. I put that as an instrumental. The company is based in Georgia, but not Georgia, the state. It's based in the country Georgia. Like it says here, made with love in Georgia, but it's not. It's not in uh, the state. It's in T Tbilisi. You know, if you if you if you Google this, it's uh, the country. I can I can show you now. I think it's, it's is it part of the Europe Union? I don't know. So let's go here. If you don't have a UPC, they make one for you. If you don't have a says reference number is this the SRC code I don't know they make one for you you can you can put notes you know and uh, on Apple music they show notes on your release you can put notes and it shows then you go on licenses you click save here down you go on licenses you, if you wanna put budget it's like the cheapest thing on uh, iTunes you put budget then the release date you put today's date if you want to have it fast today's date you you put your legal name the the, the P here copyright for sound recording is this thing here on Spotify so like if you go on a song let's say let's go on a newest song that is out so Beyonce song you see here that it says P it says P 2022 and it has uh, the LCC you put this here if you're in a label you put this stuff here and then you click save you go to tracks the third step so here you can you can choose from your cat catalog if you created a track or from your computer then you click preview and distribute distribute this release I click I have content ID I have everything they distribute over you know 200 stores they also distribute to Beatport as I now so whoever wants to put their music on Beatport they say by default by default we disable Beatport for new user channels unless advised otherwise so you need to email them I want to distribute to, to Beatport but Beatport, you know, it has like electronic music. You cannot put anything, any song there. That's my belief from what I'm reading and the frequently asked questions here. Okay, next. Okay, so it says order. It's like TuneCore, you know, the same thing. You go like check out. Okay, I confirm, I accept, I accept, I accept, delivery. Okay, so I have to choose PayPal. Okay, so I sent it for a review and my my you know my release is ready to go okay so they're gonna review it and i'm i'm gonna make a new video about uh you know uh, how long it took for them to review my release and how how long uh, my release went to stores like spotify and apple and stuff and how long it took for youtube content id to be active 
So thanks for watching. Make sure, make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one.